hello and welcome back to Dressing Room Diaries. I just thought I'd film a quick video to show you some new products that I bought online this week from a brand called Lily Lolo. They've got a 15% off discount for Black Friday weekend. So I thought I'd quickly show you them as they arrived today and you can still get the discount for the rest of the weekend. It's 15% off. They're already really reasonably priced products anyway, but with the extra discount, obviously it makes it even cheaper. So Lily Lolo are a mineral based makeup cosmetic brand and they have both loose powdered mineral products and also pressed powdered ones. So um, in my little jiffy bag of goodies, I got the Lily Lolo catalog, which is showing me all the brand's products. Like they've just got a few different um, types of products in the mineral range and then they're showing you all the different colors. Obviously this is an online company. As far as I'm aware, there's not a physical sort of standalone store. So you obviously need to use their advice to pick the colors um, and take maybe a little bit of a risk. But um, I thought it was worth it because I've seen some of the products used before. Once um, I saw an eyeshadow palette used recently in a Lisa Eldridge video and I actually had already bought one of these products already before. Um, but I hadn't shown it to you in any videos because unfortunately I dropped it and I broke the powder. So it was a bit messy. So the products that I bought, um, the one that I had used before, they all come in this really lovely Lily Lolo packaging. I really like the um, logo and the packaging has got this lovely the branding flower all inside the box which is lovely which you'll see on the front of all the packaged products and then got this black and white monochrome packaging. Each product has a mirror in it as well which I really like and it's a really good sized mirror as well and this is the first product which I'd already tried and I bought this product a little while ago but I, um, as I said, broke it when I was on holiday so I just re-bought the same one as I really, really like it. This is their pressed bronzer in the shade Miami Beach. So I'll just pop a little bit of the bronzer on just so you can see how it looks on the skin. So I'm just going to really lightly tap this because I've used this before, I know you don't need very much at all and you can really gently build up the colour. So I've already got on my face, just so you know, a little bit of tinted moisturiser, CC cream and a little bit of setting powder and concealer, just so you can see these products, I didn't buy any base products. So there we go, you can see the colour builds up really gently, it's very very soft and it's very very easily blendable, I've hardly used any at all on the brush, it looks almost clean, but you can see the colour and the pigment has come up already in just a few strokes of the brush. Now I like to use this as a bronzer rather than a sculpting shade, although you could use it for that as well. So I'll use it a little bit underneath my jaw and down my neck, because my face is a little bit lighter than my body because I use SPF on my face. So there we have it, there is the pressed bronzer. Hope you can see the colour there. I think it's a really, really flattering shade, good for fair skin tones. There are two other shades as well in the collection, I can just tell you by looking. There is the Montego Bay, which is a sheen medium colour, and Honolulu sheen dark tan as well. So the bronzer retails for $14.99 full price, obviously at the moment you can get the 15% off. I think it's a really lovely packaged product, I really like that the mirror is a really good size. I think that it's very, very high pigmented, you don't need very much at all. It goes on really, really easily, it blends beautifully into whatever makeup you're wearing underneath, whether you wear a mineral based product or not. And I really think it's a lovely, lovely natural sort of branded mineral product. So that is the bronzer. The next product that I will show you, again, I'm just sort of making this up so I go along because I've literally just got it, is an eyeshadow palette. And this, again, is brand new to me. There are a few different eyeshadow palettes and this is the Laid Bare product, which I just thought looked like the most useful um, sort of general collection of colours which I thought would suit most people. So there you are, you can see eight shades in the palette and these are all quite neutral to dark shades, quite easily wearable shades and you also get a little foam applicator brush with it which I probably wouldn't use necessarily, um, I'd rather use my own brushes but there we go, that's what you get in the product and again nice big mirror in the product as well which I think is really really useful. So you can see this is the matte shade here and there's a matte one here and at the end and then there's a few sort of more shimmery and more glittery shades as well. I'm just going to use my flat NARS eyeshadow brush and you can, I can see that it's picking up really nicely in the palette, it's not sort of flicking off everywhere massively which I like a lot and yep it's picking up on the brush nicely as well. So I'm just going to put a little bit of wash of this colour. Oh I really like this 
quite a nice light neutral kind of bone shade. Looks a little bit lighter on my lids than it does in the palette. It's very, very soft, very, very smoothing. It's not catching on my eyelids at all. And I think it's blending in very nicely. I haven't actually got a primer on or anything on my eyes, so I'm actually quite impressed with the color payoff as well. Okay, I might layer up a couple more shades. So I might actually layer up the next shade along, which is a bit more of a shimmery shade, but similar in sort of color. Great, so you can just see those two colours are mixed together then on my eyelids. It's got a nice soft sheen to them. And yeah, I'm really pleased with the way that that has actually gone on. Really, really nice and smoothy. So now I'll just use a little bit of a crease shade. So I'm just going to use a different brush to do that. So I'm just using... I might actually go for a bit of a darker shade this time, actually. I might go for this one here, which is the sort of third to last shade, which looks a little bit more matte. Oh, yeah, I can see the colour pick up is pretty good. I'm just going to blend that into the socket line. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> this is genuine first impressions here. So actually I really, really like that colour. I think it's a really good socket crease shade. And again, I haven't used very much product at all. And it's blending in really nicely. To the other eyeshadow onto my skin, it's not sort of flicking and spreading everywhere. Obviously I can't tell you how these last because this is the first time I've used them. But it's looking pretty good in terms of blending in on my skin. Yeah, pretty pleased with that, really really like that. So there's loads of other shades there that I haven't tried, I've only used three, um, but I think they're all really nice. I'm, Interested to see how this sort of gold shade works. I think that could be really, really nice for a sort of shimmery shade. Might be good also to use as a sort of slight highlighter underneath the brow bone. There's some other good darker shades which should be good for a smoky eye or just more of a soft, neutral eye as well there. I think they're really, really lovely shades. I think the colour payoff is lovely and I think that looks really, really nice and very, very good quality. Again, this is a really, really reasonably priced product. The whole palette is 19.99 for the eight shades, but again, at the moment you can get the discount with the Black Friday deals of 15% off. I think it's a really, really lovely palette, very, very useful, could be a really great Christmas gift as well, as it's very, very reasonably priced as well. So, so far, so good, really enjoying that product. So, um, I might just put a little bit of mascara on and I will cut back in just a sec. Okay, so just popped a little bit of mascara on just to finish the eye look. I didn't actually buy it in mascara from Lily Lolo, so I just used ones that I already owned. But you can just see the sort of unifying sort of eye look now as I've got a little bit of mascara on my eyes. I'm really happy with the eyeshadows that I just used. I just had a quick look at them a bit more up close, a bit more detail, and they're very, very smoothing. And I really like how softening that they are on the eyelids. They're very, very flattering. They're not sitting in any creases or lines. And so far, so good. So. The next product that I picked up was a blusher and I picked that up in the shade In The Pink which was described as a cool bright pink shade which um, looks like a good shade for me. It does look quite bright in the pan. Once again you've got a lovely big mirror inside the product which is a really really lovely feature of all these products from Lily Lolo. So I'm going to use a small blusher brush. I'm just going to just apply a little bit to the end of the brush and again you can see the colour pick up is really really good and it hasn't made a big old mess everywhere which is good to know. So I'm just going to get apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Gradually building it up. And this is a really pretty pink. It's not too strong and it blends actually really nicely in with that bronzer that I've already applied. And what's nice is it gradually builds and it's blending in really nicely with the rest of the makeup that I've got on. And I really like that. I think that's another winner. Yeah, really, really like that. I think that's a lovely colour and really wearable actually. A good sort of standard pink colour that I think will suit a lot of skin tones. So the price for the blusher is 9 dollars Again, a really good price for 
a lovely good volume of product there's four grams in there it's a really decent sized pan there so you can see there's a lot of, of product in the packaging again love the packaging I think it's really nicely designed I love the black and white packaging it's very very sleek and minimal nice and thin as well so good for popping in your makeup bag and not taking up loads of room as you can see so far actually each product has a very very nice thinness to it and all with this lovely black and white monochrome packaging I find that very very pleasing I like the look of that so last product that I picked up was a lipstick and it's in the shade nude allure which um, again looked like a nice neutral kind of everyday shade for me which I like the look of it's quite a sort of beigey pinky neutral again haven't tried it so not sure how it's going to come out on a, sw a swatch point of view it's looking very nice quite creamy but again a good amount of pigment not too sheer so let's give that a go I'll just use my bronzer packaging to show you this I have put a little bit of lip balm on already, so my lips are quite moisturised, but I can feel this is a really lovely, soft, moisturising texture. And I really like this colour. Very wearable, great for every day. Got a nice, nice shine to it though as well. Very, very smoothing. Feels very pleasant on the lips. Really build that up. Quite a good colour. We're only talking while applying lipstick isn't always the easiest thing to understand. Really like that. That is a absolute winner. Well, I feel very smug. I feel like I've done very well with my online purchases from Lily Lolo. I absolutely love every single one of those products. Can't complain at all on first impressions. I think they're all brilliant. I think they're amazing value for money. I really like their ethos that they're paraben free, synthetic dye free, cruelty free as well. Again, great for all the animal lovers out there. And I know certainly some of their mineral products for the loose mineral products are vegan as well. So I'm not sure if it's every single product, but looking quickly through this, I'm seeing a lot of suitable for vegan, suitable for vegan. So if you're vegan as well and you're interested in sort of a mineral makeup brand, then have a little look at Lily Lolo. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing all those products tested for the first time, minus the bronzer. I will put all the links below the video so you can see each of those products. I think they're really reasonably priced. I think they're very, very nice quality. If you are interested at the moment, there is that extra 15% off. Go and check it out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon.